I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs> Surprise. In my forever fight against dust, we have a new tool. Chippy is a shark AI robot vacuum. AI feels a little bit generous. I've wanted a robot vacuum for the shop for years. It's always felt a little bit silly because we've had some at home that frankly sucked and the only thing that really was out there was the Makita that's about 1200 bucks with, you know, another $200 worth of batteries. Of the ones we've had at home, the first one that I thought was more than just largely an annoyance was the same model we ended up getting for the shop. It has features like mapping of the room with lasers, it can dump and rally, charge and resume, and schedule. The mobile app is great, and I think I honestly would have scoffed at most of this stuff, especially for use in a shop, but after using it at home, I've really been impressed at how well it's been working. Like this quick spot cleaning test, there's always a little bit of a mess around the table saw and it made short work of it. My goal with having a shop robot vacuum is to take down the amount of dust without having to think about it. Sweeping is a no skill job, so let's have the robots do that. So keep in mind this thing is meant for residential use, most likely. <laughs> I don't really care, it's been working alright for us, so one of the things it can do is map. The mobile app will prompt you when you first set up the app and get it connected to Wi-Fi that you can do a little mapping run, and that basically just uses this little AI laser dealy on top that's that little nub that scans the room as it's driving around. It sounds really high-tech, and it actually is pretty impressive, but, I mean, ultimately... Don't worry so much that it maps, worry that it doesn't run into stuff as much as it should. Also, you could potentially have it clean by room or space, which I'll show you in a sec. So you can see on the left here, that's next to the CNC. We're definitely gonna block that area off so it doesn't keep getting stuck in the wires back there. Another of the key features of the mapping capability is that you can keep it out of spaces like this with a no-go zone because we really don't want it tangling into the cords for the shop saber. So the capacity on this thing isn't amazing, so once it gets full, it'll actually go dump at its dock and kind of evacuate itself, which is fairly entertaining to watch. And it's going in right now to do just that. It might do this two, three, four, five times before it gets done cleaning the shop in its one run for the day. This seems minor, but it's huge because even the Makita can't go dump itself. If it runs out of charge while it's cleaning, it will also go charge and then resume after that. One of the things I'm looking forward to the most is having it just clean overnight. So far, I've had it start right about when I'm going to arrive in the morning. I did the same with the 3D printers, and now I just run them all night. So I'm sure we'll be running this at night, too. So I got in this morning at about 8.30, and it already had been running for half an hour, which is what it should do since it's scheduled. So it's been about an hour and it has emptied itself and continued on. It's now underneath the workbench, which, you know, we obviously sweep a lot. You can tell it's doing a pretty good job, but I mean, our goal is that it's picking up some of the stuff that we don't normally see. Uh, it's not going to do the big chunks of stuff that come off your planer. Because the bin is just not big enough for that. But this kind of fine dust is what kicks up and uh, is bad for you. So, and it also gets all over everything. So this is picking stuff up every day. It's doing a better job than we are at, or going to do or want to do at sweeping all the time. I ended up finding this one used basically in new condition off of Amazon. Cost me about 300 bucks. So if it saves us 4.2 hours of cleaning, it will have paid itself off. Even at full price of somewhere around $400, that's still not very long to pay off. We haven't even talked about the health benefits. The point of cleaning up or sweeping in the first place is A, it looks better obviously, but B, the less dust you have on the floor, the less gets kicked up when you're walking through it. So if this is doing a better job at keeping our place cleaner than we would, then it's obviously doing a better job for our health. It has HEPA filtration, so it's not pushing that fine dust back out into the air. I definitely look out for that on some of the cheaper machines. They don't have HEPA filters, and you might as well just be spewing everything you just picked up back right into the air. After we'd done the daily floor cleaning routine a few times, I wanted to try something that just made sense to me. I did not think it would make it over that networking cable as well as it is. Eating the cable. Oh, there's a hole! There's a hole! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Stop! <laughs> 
Things were going pretty swell, cleaning the top of the mill room, and then we happened to back off the corner, and it just happened to catch itself. I was underneath it, but yeah, I probably wouldn't have caught it. We got back on that horse, though. So here's the deal. For us to clean up here, somebody would have to reach really far up. I mean, I, it's, probably, it's probably not even possible, honestly, to fully clean it, so this is kind of the only way to do it and it's doing great, other than it might fall off this corner again. We did have one final torture test. Oh no. It just immediately fell off a cliff. There <laughs> you go. Trim, 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 trim. I think it's probably a little much for it. So as you can tell, the machine has some limits. It's not gonna pick up a giant pile of chips all the time, but it will go and dump it when it gets full. And in this case, I don't think it really knew what to do, but it had really good heart. If you have reasonable expectations for your shop robot vacuum, I think you would enjoy one as well. It's been a nice improvement for us in the first bit we've had it. I put links to this shark vacuum as well as the Makita in the description. If you buy a robot vacuum for your shop, I'd love to hear how much it sucks for you. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs>